A sign that Nicolas Maduro could be loosening his stranglehold on the opposition. Four months after his arrest, Edgar Zambrano walked out of a notorious Caracas military base with a message for his former captors. My detention was unjust. It violated the Constitution, the universal institution of parliamentary immunity and human rights. Sam Brano was part of a group of lawmakers rounded up after he became one of the first to answer Juan Guaido's call for a government insurrection in April. When the attempt to overthrow Maduro fell flat, security forces swooped on Zambrano, towing his car away with the vice president of Congress still inside. Zambrano's turnaround in fortunes is thought to be linked to a fresh government initiative, talks with a fringe group of opposition parties aimed at sidelining Guaido, the country's opposition leader. It was the first sign of cracks in Guaido's campaign to topple Maduro. Hours before Zambrano's release, Venezuela's opposition-led Congress voted to throw its support behind Guaido, who dismissed what he sees as efforts by minority parties to steal the limelight. What the world already knows and what the European Union has confirmed is that the lawmakers of this National Assembly are the only legitimate representation of the Venezuelan people. But momentum could be slipping away from Guaido. Three years after abandoning the National Assembly, Maduro's government said on Monday it would return its lawmakers to take up their empty chairs. Let's take